This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this 3D text effect using GIMP. And this is a tutorial that I did a few years ago, but I feel like I glossed over a couple of important steps in that video, and GIMP has undergone quite a few updates since then, so I figured this would be a great opportunity for a refresher. And before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out my GIMP series. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in GIMP, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in GIMP, the first thing I want to do is create a new document. So I'll come up here to where, where it says File, and I'll go to File, New. And I want to size this document at 1280 by 1280 pixels, and click OK. And what I want to do now is create a text item on the canvas here. So I'm going to grab the text tool and the font I'm going to use. For this tutorial, I'm using the font called Heather Oliver. You can use whatever font you'd like, honestly. Any, any cursive style font should work just fine. So I'm just going to click on the canvas right here and I'm going to use a capital letter G for the, le for the, uh, the name GIMP. I'm going to highlight that text and I'm going to increase the size of it with this arrow up here. I want to make that text a, a lot bigger. Let me grab the Move tool now and put this towards the center of the page like that. And I want to take the opacity of this layer and bring this down to roughly in half. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn off the visibility of this layer for now by clicking this eyeball icon next to the name. And I'm going to click on this icon down here that says Create a New Layer and Add it to the Image. I'll click on that, leave the defaults as they are, and click OK. And now I'm going to create a sample of a gradient that we're going to use to trace that letter with. So I'm going to first grab the ellipse tool and I'm going to click and drag to create an ellipse on the canvas. I'm going to hold shift to lock the proportions like that. And I want to give this ellipse a gradient. So I'm going to come over here to the color selection, the, the, uh, the color selections. I'm going to choose this black color right here, click on that. And I'm going to make this a dark shade of pink or almost red, kind of like that right there. Click OK. Take the background color, which is this white color right here, and make this a lighter shade of pink like that. Click OK. And what we have right here is a darker shade and a lighter shade of the same color. It doesn't, you don't have to necessarily use pink. You can use whatever shade you'd like. But for this tutorial, I'm using pink. So I'm going to grab the gradient tool now. And where we have these settings right here, the gradient mode, I want to choose normal, the opacity 100%. This icon right here, click on that. Make sure you have the foreground to background selected. And make sure in the preview icon right here, it shows a smooth transition between your foreground and your background color. Don't choose this one up here that has the hard difference between the two shades. We want this smooth transition right there, just like that. And where it says uh, shape, we want to make sure we have linear selected. So I'm going to take that now and just click and drag like this, draw a line going through that shape right there to give that a gradient. I'm going to hold control to lock it onto the vertical axis like that. Press enter on the keyboard to give that a gradient. That's exactly what we're looking for. And now let me go back to the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a smaller ellipse within this circle right here. Kind of like that. And I'm going to make this a little wider. We're not going to make this a circle, more of like an elongated ellipse like this. That right there is what I'm looking for like that. Let me press enter to make a selection of that. And now I will go to select feather and I want to give this a five pixel feather. I already have that set there. If that's not, if you don't have five set as your input there, just go ahead and type that in and click OK. And now we'll go to Edit, Copy. And what I'm going to do now is turn off the visibility of that layer by going to this icon right here, this little eyeball, and clicking on that. And then we'll just get rid of this selection by going to Select, None. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back on the visibility of this letter that we just created, this letter G. Turn on the visibility of that and create a new layer with this icon right here. Click OK. And if you notice now, if you come over here to your brush tool and up here in your brushes menu, if you click on this icon up here to the very top left corner, it'll allow you to use whatever you have copied to your clipboard as a brush. And down here where it says spacing, this is really important. Make sure you have the spacing all the way down as low as it will go, which is one. And if you do that, now what you'll notice you can do is you can just click and drag on your canvas like that and use that copied selection as a brush like that. Now if you notice here, if you s slowly trace over the object like this, you can create that letter. And you can adjust the size of the brush over here. You can make it smaller or bigger like that. Go like that. Or you can make it a little bigger. To undo the brush stroke, just press Control-Z on the keyboard, which is the undo function, which is what I just did there. 
like that. I'm gonna make that a little smaller. Now, if you have a steady hand and you wanna do this freehand or if like you have like a drawing tablet or something like that, you can go right ahead. Another way where you can trace this letter and make it much more smooth is using the paths tool, which I will show you now. Grab the paths tool right here and I'm gonna to click to create a point at the top of this letter. And I'm bringing my cursor around where this point, where this letter bends like this. And I'm gonna put another point right here and then I'll bring it around more. I'll put another point right here and then another point, whoops, right there. And then another up here and another up here. Now, if you notice what I did there, I'm just putting points at key areas of the design where it kind of bends. And once we've done that, you can click and drag the line and adjust the curve of it so it follows the contour of the letter there like that. Now, this isn't following it exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each of these nodes and manually adjust this path so that it's following along the contour of the letter. And now what we can do is we can turn off the visibility of the letter layer once you're done tracing it with the path tool like that. And you can go to edit, stroke path, and come down here to where it says stroke with the paint tool and make sure you have paint paintbrush selected from that dropdown and emulate brush dynamics, dynamics and click stroke. And you'll notice it takes the brush and strokes it along that path there. Now, if you're not happy with how it came out, like if it's too thin of a stroke like mine is here, you can just undo that by pressing Control Z on the keyboard and coming back over here to your brush tool and just make the size a little bigger. Or if yours came out too thick, you can make it a little smaller and try it again. Go to Edit, Stroke Path, click Stroke. And there you go. Now it's a little thicker, maybe a little too thick that time. So I'm going to make this tiny bit smaller. Actually, first, let me undo it by pressing Control Z. Make that a little bit smaller. Edit. Stroke path. There we go. And that, that's looking pretty good right there. So that's pretty much the basics of how you can create that sort of 3D style text. If you want to enhance this design even more, what I did for the thumbnail of this video after I was finished creating the letter, I came up here to colors and I went to curves. And I took the bottom, the bottom left note down here and moved this to the right a little bit. And that brings out more of the darker shade. And I take this note up here and that brings out more of the lighter shade. And if you notice the difference between those two, it makes it just pop a little more. Kind of like that. And maybe if you come over here to the blue channel, add a little bit of blue to the design. That's looking pretty good. And if you toggle the preview off and on, you can see the difference there. This style, it just pops a little more, whereas this looks a little more flat. So I'll put that back as it is. I'll click OK. And there you go. What you could do now is turn off the visibility of the background layer. And then you could just take this design and export it as a .png image and use it however you'd like. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating that simple 3D style text using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.